Finishing up our section about blogs, I want to talk about the various blog widgets and how you can implement them throughout your site once you've got some posts added in. We've already talked about how to customize the blogs both in layout mode and post mode. And now let's complete this circle and see how we can implement them onto our pre-existing site here. First of all, I want to open up our widget library and scroll down to the bottom. We've got three widgets here that are solely dedicated to blogging. We have all posts, recent posts, and search posts. All three of these widgets are just as easy to set up as the rest of the widgets in our library, and they will automatically communicate with the blog that you've already set up, and will also automatically update themselves when you make changes to posts or add new ones. Let's grab this recent posts widget, drag it out of the library, and we'll drop it into a new row on our homepage here. And as soon as we do that, we already see some content populated in the editor here. The first post may look familiar. It's the new post we created in the very last video, followed by the three sample posts that came default with the blog in the first place. They're displayed very nicely and evenly here in the widget space, with a settings panel allowing for a ton of customization. You can filter them by tag in the case that maybe you only want ones of a certain topic to display on certain pages. You can customize the read more text. Now we only have four blogs in the site currently, but that comes in handy when you have dozens and maybe don't want them all displayed initially. Show more text as well. Then you've got some toggle options here for various elements about the blog to be visible or not. Let's click into the design section. We have a ton of options here to customize the layout of the posts. With one simple click, we can change these to display in a list if we want. Just like that, we can change the number of visible posts upon initial page load, the length of the teaser text, and then tons of customization here, all pertaining to the way the blogs are displayed here in our gallery. Borders, image sizing, text formatting, frames, and of course, spacing. And the great thing is all of the functionality when it comes to accessing the blog is built right in. Let's click to preview. And now I can click on any of the blogs here in the gallery, and I'm taken to said blog immediately. A fully functional blog accessible anywhere on my site anytime I want. Let's click back to editor and we'll get back to our homepage. You may have also noticed that a new blog page was added to our navigation when we first initiated the blog to begin with. Let's click into it. This is the default blog page designed to be the website's home base for all things blog related, but you can of course customize this to your liking. And you can even hide it from the navigation if you choose, just like any other page. We've got our search widget here as well, which is also accessible from the widget library like we saw earlier. Now a search bar, again, it can be placed anywhere on the site, and when the user submits a search, it'll direct them back to this full blog page with their matching results. It's pretty fantastic. 